I'm going to start by removing this upper uh, intake piece just because there are two push clips underneath here that we have to access. So with the push clip remover tool, just go ahead and pop all of these up. Now you can lift up this piece. Oh, looks like mine are missing. So, well, anyway, there's supposed to be two push clips here, but lift up this piece, twist it, turn it, and remove it. And uh, we'll pretend that these are here. So if yours are, go ahead and pop these out. And then just continue along the top to removing the rest of them. All right, this upper piece is now loose. The next step is removing the two screws on each corner of the bumper. And if you look right by the fender well, the driver's and passenger side, you can see here I'm missing my fender liner, but I took this as an opportunity because you can much better see what's going on. There's a 10 millimeter headed screw on each side. Like I said, we're gonna have to remove that. And if you still have your fender liner, you can just pry it out of the way. All right, there it is. Let's do the same to the other side. This piece here will stay with the bumper, but it is attached to the inner fender liner with that push clip right there. So I actually have to remove that. I'm trying to unscrew the middle portion and hopefully that's going to allow me to pull this piece out. Oh, there we go. Now these two are separated and let's do the same thing to the other side. Since my other side fender liner is missing, I'm just going to move on to removing this splash shield here, which is already mostly removed because all the push clips are missing. So I'm just going to pop off the ones that are still here and remove it. Now mine's going to hang off like this. Okay, so it's still hanging on the subframe. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And at this point, if you did have fog lights, you would go ahead and disconnect them. As you can see, this vehicle does not come with that option, so I don't have to worry about it. But typically, you would just reach up in here and just unplug your fog light bulb. At this point, what you want to do is pull the bumper straight out from the fender, push it out a little bit. It's ready to fall off, so don't go too far. Do the same to the other side. Once it unclips, you can slide it right off. There you go. Now let's slide the bumper cover on. Be careful not to scratch up your paint. Line it up into place. And I'm just gonna put in this, these top push clips here. That way it's being held into place with something. Let's put in the two side bolts. Okay, do the same to both sides. All right, put the fender liner back where it belongs and reinstall this push clip here that holds the bumper to the fender liner. Lock that in. Let's put this splash shield back and secure it with all the push clips. And last thing, let's get this air intake back on, sneak it past the bumper, battery, and the radiator and make sure it goes into the air box in there. Put it over the radiator sport up here. Let's put the three push clips back in. One of mine actually broke, so I'm just gonna put two in, but that's good enough. 